Hello, my name is Peter West and welcome to another Peplink University in control training video. Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware, the cellular firmware of a, a balanced router. I have a transit 5G that I'd like to upgrade the cellular firmware. And if I go to the dashboard of this device, you can see that I've got my transit 5G online and you'll see that the firmware says F0058. The latest firmware I know is 1009 and I know that 58 should be upgraded. This router is actually sitting in my car. So it, it's in the parking lot of my office in the car. And so how do you update this firmware? So what I did is I actually just ran an ethernet cable out there because I want it to be hardwired. Now you could Wi-Fi WAN this as well, but once again, I wanted for the best safety, I went ahead and just ran a hundred foot ethernet cable outside. So if I go to my router, you'll see here's my ethernet cable connected. And then here's my cellular connection connected. When you're updating the cellular connection, you want to make sure that you are not using the cellular modem because it's going to reset the modem. So I'm going to drag my ethernet WAN up to the highest priority, which is going to suspend the cellular connection. So if I go back into my router here, you'll see that now my cellular is in standby mode and my WAN is connected. Now, all you have to do is go to the dashboard. Once you know that you're on an ethernet WAN or Wi-Fi WAN and your cellular is disabled, and I can see that right there, click the edit button, check the box next to the router or routers. You can do multiple routers. So if you have 30 routers, make sure they're all on Wi-Fi WAN, make sure the cellular is in standby mode, and then you can do this as well. Click action, update cellular module firmware. Do not do this unless you are not using the cellular connections. And you'll see right there, I've got my transit 5G. It says update available. So I'm gonna click update and I'm gonna hit okay. This process can take up to 30 minutes. So don't freak out, don't reboot the router. Once you start this process, leave it alone. If I come back in here, you'll see this, this working. It's gonna download the firmware. And then what you're gonna see is the cellular is gonna to go to resetting. It's gonna look like it's rebooting or initializing and then eventually it's going to come back up to standby and so we're just going to wait for that to occur i would like to add that there is a way to check the status of this and in the url see the word index right there change the word index to support if you're running 8.3 firmware which i recommend doing you'll see right here cellular firmware update cellular firmware downloading four percent so it's currently downloading the firmware and we're just going to once again just watch this process and wait for it to finish you can see now that the cellular is resetting. It's updating the firmware now. I want to also highlight that the status says power reset cellular for firmware. It is not asking you to power reset. It is doing that work. If you're paying attention to these changes here, do not make any changes until this says standby mode again and it's connected to T-Mobile. It looks like it might be finished because I see it says connecting. You can see on the dashboard here, it says cellular checking connectivity, LTE. Don't we want to power this down or do anything until we're sure that it's stable. There we go, standby 5G. So I should be able to drag my WAN down to priority two to force this to activate. You can see I'm connected to 5G. So now my firmware is updated. That whole process took about 20 minutes, so four or five minutes. Don't worry about it too much. And that took me 20 minutes to update. Now I'm running the latest firmware. So I go back here. I should be able to go to my dashboard. And there I am. I'm running the 1009 firmware. So thank you very much. That is how you update cellular firmware in a cellular router.